It's not some man, it's not some woman saying, you've been bad and you're going to get in trouble. It's God who's saying it. And he's saying, I will, I will, I will destroy and devour at once. Which is exactly what I was saying, that when the door closes, it is closed. And when the storm comes, you shall be destroyed if you are not in the ark of safety. What happened with Noah and the flood? For all those years, God told Noah to build an ark because God told Noah that the day of judgment was coming, that the time was coming when the earth would be destroyed. And Noah labored at that ark and people mocked him and they made fun of him and they teased him and they made light of his consecration. They made light of his dedication. They made light of the fact that he stuck to the task that God gave him to do. And they probably said, oh Noah, come away from there and let's have some fun. Oh Noah, let's just go have a few beers. Oh Noah, let's go smoke. <coughs> oh Noah, let's do this thing, let's do that thing. But Noah remained faithful to the task that God had given to him. And Noah kept working at that. And Noah kept building that ark. And all the time, men and women and young people were mocking him and laughing at him and saying, there's old crazy Noah over there. Doesn't he look weird? Let's go look at Noah. Let's go throw things at Noah. Let's go laugh at Noah. But Noah remained faithful. And when the hour of God's judgment came and Noah was inside of the ark with his with his family and with the animals that God told him to get and all of the mockers and all of the scoffers and all of the mimics were on the outside of the ark I don't imagine that they said bon voyage Noah hallelujah have a good time buddy tell us what it's like on the other side I don't imagine that they did that because it said that it began to rain and the storm began to come and they'd never even seen it happen like that before and they didn't know what to do and I imagine in that day and in that hour that they were scraping at that ark, that they were pounding at that ark, that they were pleading with Noah to open that door to that ark, that they were saying, let us in, let us in, let us in. But Noah had heard the judgment cry of God, and Noah had been obedient to God, and Noah had built the ark when every man thought he was a fool, and every man walked by and spit on him and mocked him and made fun of him and made light of the things of God and made light of Noah's commitment. But Noah was spared in the day of judgment. Noah was not destroyed and the rest of the earth was destroyed by water. God brought the floods from above and from below and he drowned them out. And what could they cry out when their mouths were filled with water, when their lungs were filled with water, when everything was covered in water and they saw their children floating by, drowned already by the water. What could they do then? Because they'd missed the day of their visitation. They'd missed the warning that Noah had given. I don't imagine that Noah just turned his back when he was building that ark and sat over here and hammered. But I imagine that every time that they came by to make fun of Noah, I imagine that Noah gave them the word of the Lord. And I imagine that Noah stood even when they spit upon him. And even when they mocked him. And I imagine that he stood and he said to them, The judgment of God is coming. And God shall destroy this earth. You know, they like to make light of Noah. And show a bunch of little fairy tale animals, giraffes and monkeys and elephants and put it off like it was some little kid's holiday. But the day of Noah was no kid's holiday. The day of Noah was a day of destruction. And it was destruction brought about by Almighty God. And they drowned and they perished in their sins. And there was no redemption when the door was shut. They were done. And that is the same God who reigns today. That is the same God, he says, come unto Jesus Christ, my son. Come into the ark of safety that I have provided for you. Come in and let me keep you in the day of judgment that is coming. And so many people want to walk by and say, oh, those are Christians. Ha, huh, aren't they funny looking? Look at them over there in those uniforms. They say there's some kind of war going on. I think they're half crazy. Oh, ha, ha, I don't care what they do. I'm going to have a good time. I'm going to go drink beer, I'm going to go use dope, I'm going to go, you know, fornicate and have my parties. Ah, <laughs> you know, they said I might go to hell, but <laughs> And on and on it goes. But you don't stop God.